A federal judge here in California has shot down one of the Biden administration's restrictions on people seeking asylum here in the U.S. The judge ruled the policy mandating people try to seek asylum in another country before requesting it at the U.S. border violates U.S. asylum law. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan is here to break it all down and tell us what's next. Now, Shannon Carlo, this all comes from a lawsuit the ACLU filed challenging the administration's policy, saying it endangers refugees. The regulation came into play in May when Title 42 ended. Long-standing parts of asylum law kicked back into effect, and the Biden administration added some new rules. This one essentially disqualifies people from getting asylum in the U.S. if they cross a southern border without permission and without trying to seek asylum in another country on their way to the U.S. There are a handful of exceptions, like for unaccompanied kids, but overall, most people do fall into that. People who violate the rule can end up quickly deported, banished from the U.S. for five years, and could face criminal prosecution if they try to re-enter illegally. This is a welcoming news, especially because we know that many migrants who are being forced to have to apply for asylum in a third country before arriving to the U.S. is just not a realistic uh, prospect. Advocates like Rios say what the federal government needs to do is figure out a way to welcome and process people with dignity and safety first. The judge granted a 14 day hold on his ruling, giving the Justice Department time to appeal, which officials say they will do. We have seen a drop in the number of people seeking asylum at the border, which the federal government partially credits this policy for. None of this, though, will change our immigration laws right now. Carlo, Shannon.